So when I was approaching 30, there was this constant dread and anxiety. And then it happens. The great midlife crisis. Because your expectations are not what exactly lined up when you were, let's say, 15 or 20 years old. How about them apples? And I guess the timeline of your typical really successful Zoomer is your 20s, you lay out the hustle, you figure your stuff out. And your 30s is you start solidifying your career. Your 40s is when you finally start up that family that you ever and always wanted. But then as I was going through this trajectory of becoming 30 years old, I became more lonelier, more depressed, more miserable because I made the decision of what these steps are needed to be so I can live this certain pathway. Because when I was in my early 20s, I was like, hmm, maybe once I'm 30 years old and I am an adult, right? I'm going to have a beautiful wife, beautiful house, and a family of two. And then you reach 30 and then you're 30 single getting laid off from your tech job heartbroken by so many times that you don't even know which joji song to listen to nowadays and you're like life is much more different than i expected it to be but just like anything in life when you have expectations of something or someone especially of yourself there's a big gap that needs to be filled if your expectations does not meet the reality this gap in the middle that does not connect that's the depression, that is the self-blame, that is the self-hate, and in my case, that is that I am not good enough to get wherever it is that I wanted to get. And when it comes to relationships and life partners, it's not that I have no experience, no one wants me. I've been fortunate enough to been in love, to fall out of love, and have partners get up and leave. I've come close to finding my life partner, but I've also come so many times close to completely losing and forgetting who I've become. So when it comes to turning the big 3-0, the 30 years old, there is that pressure of feeling behind, especially if you have life expectations. And there's some videos that they're, it's okay, man. It's okay, girly. No, it's not. Cut that ish out. If you want kids, you have to think about this scientifically. If you're 30 years old and you have your first kid now, by the time you're 40 years old, they'll be 10 years old. But if you have your kid when you are 40 years old, when you're 50, they will be 10 and so forth and so forth. And if you wanna be around to play with your kids, to be not a geriatric parent, you are behind, right? And this is coming from a male perspective. That is a privilege that I have because I will never know what it's like to have a ticking time bomb to be like, I need to have kids now. And if I don't, the likelihood of their health, their overall well being is my fault because I had kids a little too late. When it comes to choosing a partner, it's about having a specific intention and purpose. Long gone, I hope, once you reach this age, is the days of aimlessly meeting people. Cause some of the biggest life lessons that I have learned is from the partners and people that I decided to date. And throughout my 20s, I've had three major heartbreaks that taught me a lot about who I am, who I was, and what I needed to have in my life. Resist what I already am. I feel like the more good will come out of it. The more I can be more of my authentic self. How do you compliment me and you bring the best version out of myself? Because I myself am already doing that work. So how can you benefit me and vice versa, so we can build something. Whether that is a life together, 
a family, business perhaps, but overall, hence the term partner. You also really start to realize, am I going to be living the rest of my life like this? Or if you're like me in any case, I'm not being my authentic self. I'm living for societal norms to keep up with the high cost of living that I live in and the city. And what I should be doing instead is something completely different. And if I do not change the way that I am now, the rest of my 40s and 50s is going to be exactly the way that I lived because I did not pivot and make the change that I needed to make. Buddha, whoever you believe in, will make you realize how important your life is. And when you reach these arbitrary numbers, you realize that, hey, I'm waking up. I still got another chance at this because for the past three, four, five years, I've lost family members, close people in my life. I found out the other day that one of my high school classmates passed away due to brain cancer and he was my age. Because the older I get, I realize, the more you get stuck in your ways. Whether it's trying to play it safe and be really conservative. A lot of people working in corporate culture now from my own POV, people are just there for the paycheck and they're just trying to figure it out. When you're 15 and you look up, oh my God, you're 30 years old, you must have your life figured out. They do not. Everyone else is just trying to pretend that they do, but Soon and behold, you'll realize that a lot of people are just trying to get by and they have their own demons. And although you yourself are single, you do not know about that person over there, that couple over there that just got married, but they almost got divorced. They have a kid, but they almost got divorced. They got divorced. They have to deal with lawyers. You want to be pretty much in the know-how of figuring out the great midlife quarter life crisis where you have goals and expectations for yourself, right? It's okay to have standards. Are you living the life you want to live? And if you want a partner, then start putting yourself out there to figure that out. And what is your reality? And how do we, me and you, link this journey together of, am I taking the right steps to going to where I'm at? Because there's one thing being like, I want six pack abs, man and you're obese as hell, and you never touched a weight in your life or done a push-up, then you're gonna set yourself up for disappointment. And that's the same thing when you reach the big 3-0. I never thought that I would reach this age, but nothing has changed besides my hairline and my lower back kinda hurts now and things aren't really smooth as they used to be. But the mindset, that youthfulness, everything is still there. Order for me, to fully be my most authentic self, it means to let go of all the bullshit that has occurred and has happened and has, you know, negative consequences, neg negative experiences, let it jade you. You're on your own timeline, figure out what you want. And it's easy to look on social media and be like, they sure are happy, but you have no idea. Stay focused in your 30s, and that's my goal going forward. Protecting your energy, being around good vibes, and you realize no one really gives a shit. 30 now, but deep down, I promised myself when I was a kid, I would never be a crusty ass old man that hated the world. But look what I've become. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. You feel? Anything could happen. Life is like that, man. I could literally, Press and record, get in a horrible accident, knock on wood, and that's that. And it's like, I'm trying to redo that, you know what I mean? And it's like, still stay true to who I am. But it's hard, man. It's hard. Because sometimes life throws curveballs at you. Take them as it is and keep on trucking. Because <laughs> you know, if you don't make a decision, life will make one for you. On God.